Back in 1970, just 1,193 people lived in Park City, and many Utahns couldn't even tell you where it was located. Today, the world is talking about Park City because of the Sundance Film Festival and world-class skiing. 600,000 people now visit the city each year. Craig Worth takes us back to when there were only a couple of places to eat and one five and two cent store. It's worth watching. It's virtually impossible to believe that this is the same Park City that we see in the glitz of Sundance. It was a ghost of a mining town by the 60s. Ah, but one citizen told the world it is not a ghost town. For in 1967, it had two grocery stores, a clothing store, a five and 10 cent store, and several bars and several gas stations. Well, I suspect there's a few more stores today and maybe even a few more bars. And Main Street doesn't look the same as it did back then. Yes, back then. The kindly priest at St. Mary's summed up the town. There's practically nothing left in the town at all. Many of the inhabitants had to go elsewhere, leave the homes that they owned here. In these uh, later days, dark and evil ones, population has dropped to roughly about 1,500 in this community of ours. Some felt the town had hit a dead end. The mining was about over, and the town needed a little paint. But at the barber shop, there was no gloom. I uh, don't think the Park City is finished as a thriving community. I believe we have a great future as a community. And that future was skiing. Yes, a modest resort, a great idea, and a government grant. 20 years ago, Deer Valley icon Bob Wells said the government rescue was the key to go from silver under the ground to snow on top of the ground. The goal was to replace the lost employment from mining uh, with recreation. The ski train brought in tourists. And by this 1975 picture, there were more cars on Main Street, but there still could have been a little more paint on the buildings. And the houses needed a little fixing up, as well as the dirt streets. In fact, you could pick up a house in Old Town Park City for the cost of back taxes. Of course, you might want to also invest in a door and some windows. The idea of skiing seemed to be a good one. Park City became a good place for the locals. Although in November of 1970, the Chamber of Commerce recognized skiing was bringing in large numbers of tourists to town and then has little to offer in the way of entertainment other than skiing. The solution was thought to be making the town like an old west frontier mining town, like the sets of western movies and television westerns. Yes, board sidewalks, overhanging balconies, gas or simulated gas lights, and signs of the proper style. Well, fortunately, nature kind of took its course, and the barber was right. It did have a great future. So it's the story of the rebirth of a town that nearly everyone forgot into the city that the world knows. Craigworth, News for Utah. The 10 days of Sundance will contribute $80 million to the economy. And uh, oh, about those houses you used to be able to buy for back taxes in 1970, that was about $780. Real estate websites tell us that the median price for a new home in Park City today is about one and a half million bucks. Time